It is the morning of day three. I left my camera out here overnight. And I use a GPS in the morning to help try and find it. Can't really see it until you get within about 20 feet of it. So I got two new sheets of film with me. Velvia 50. And I hope to take a very similar shot to what I did uh, yesterday at sunset. The light should be somewhat similar. Quite the backdrop, huh? It's not why I'm shooting, but it's it's really cool looking. The thing about this place is it's so intimidating to shoot. You think you have a good shot, you think you made all the best decisions, and then you turn around and you face that direction or that direction or that direction, and you see something that maybe looks better. The shot I took this morning, again, I have no clue what to expect. I think I did okay, but the problem I found today is that there was a little bit of a breeze, and that was creating some bubbles on the surface of the water, and they're kind of scooting around as the wind moves them. These bubbles don't really show up in the highlight regions, but in the dark shadows, you definitely see them. They really stand out. So even if my exposure was good, it might look a little weird in the final photo. What I learned today definitely is that the view to the north is really, really cool at sunrise. Somehow I didn't see this yesterday, but as the earth shadow kind of skirts across the top of the mountains, it creates a really nice blue gradient along the horizon. As this reflects, and then also you get the salt cracks underneath the surface of the water, it looks fantastic. That's a shot I'm going to plan for tomorrow. There may have been some clouds too that really helped contribute to that gradient, but I think at least there'll be some more of that looking tomorrow. All right, I'm done for the morning. I'm going to pack up my gear, head back to the car, and kill time before sunset. I'm going to come back here and set up my camera again for my sunrise shot, so my camera will be staying out here again tomorrow. That's why I have these videos after the fact, because otherwise if this was live, you'd know exactly where to steal my camera. <laughs> I'm a little ways north of Badwater now, and it's midday, as you can tell. I'm just scouting around, just wandering around, see if I can find something of interest to shoot at some point during this trip. It was in this area last year that I found some really cool cracked mud textures, and I put it on my list of things to shoot, but the following day we had some pretty big rains, and it just flooded out here, so it definitely was not a possibility to shoot. It's a little different here now, and that area that I was hoping to shoot last year really isn't there right now. It's much different. Every corner you go around, you never know what you'll find. It's part of the fun, really. The sun is now set back behind the Panamint Range off to the west. There are some really neat clouds there, and I think it is going to light up for a really nice sunset. My plan is not to shoot that, though. I already shot one shot earlier today. Uh, it was a view towards the north, and it was a perfectly centered shot, which, I don't know, sometimes they look good, sometimes they look bland, but I'll certainly have a better feel for it when I get the film back. I set my camera for a morning shot tomorrow. I noticed this morning the way that the kind of the blue shadows are cast across the valley in the sky uh, from all the mountains off to the east. And it's very surreal looking, and it casts some really interesting reflections down into the water in the foreground. If we get the same conditions tomorrow morning, it might make for a good shot. In case I'm leaving my camera here overnight, just like before. And I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the sunset. I hope it's going to be great. Well, that sunset sure was a treat to watch. It was great. Now, I didn't shoot the actual sunset, as, as I had said earlier, but uh, since I had my camera already set up for the morning shooting north, there were some really nice high clouds out there, out on the horizon. So, I burned two sheets of Velvia 50. It might be interesting. That's, that's three exposures today. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. When I started out this trip on the first day, 
and I saw that just absolutely amazing sunset, yet was in absolutely no position to capture it. I, you know, it did bum me out a bit. And I was feeling a little out of my element as far as trying to capture what was around me, but I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. Got a little more experience under my belt here shooting in these conditions. And I still got a couple days left. So I'm really, very glad about that. Now I just gotta mark my camera and my GPS and head back to camp to get some dinner. I have no clue what I'm gonna have, but I know it will be delicious.